Uh, yeah, totally. I'm sure the staff is epic. Like, let's just fix that. As a UC, let's fix that. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for coming back and tuning in. I know it's been a little bit since I uploaded since my UCSB orientation video, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for showing me all the love. I think we're up to about 1.6K and I think I gained about 10 subscribers from it. So thank you so much. That really helps. It gives me a lot of encouragement that I'm doing something right because you guys seem to be liking it. So let's keep this relationship going. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of September. So we're about halfway there. Let's keep going, like, subscribe, turn the noties on, get that going. Basically what's happening today is we're getting a little less summer vibe and we're starting school. My sister starts today and I'm just gonna be crossing some stuff off my checklist as far as getting maybe a backpack, some clothes while we wait for her to pick her up. And then I'm gonna be coming back and telling you guys a little bit more about my UCSB journey and specifically the housing aspect of it because there's been some ups and downs where that's come from. So put your seatbelts on and get ready. It's gonna be a fun one. Ooh, first time filming with the uh, new mount. The only thing that sucks about it so far is that it doesn't come with connectivity to Apple CarPlay because it's wirelessly connecting to a different charger than the Apple charger that's in the car. So that sucks. I like the framing though. It's good, it's got the wheel. On the way to pick up Faye from her first day. Excited for her, excited to hear all about it. Really enjoying connecting with all my people that are going to college right now in different states, different areas, people that have started so far. I'm glad that I get to hear about it. They're all in crazy new places in college, but it's cool hearing about their adventures and I can't wait to show you guys mine. So I'll see you with Faye in a second. Yeah, perfect. You're only like half down. It's fine. There you go. The bang, the bang is journey. stuff because I'm looking for a new main backpack. Right now I just have high school backpacks that say either my old club volleyball team from middle school or the high school that I went to since it was my volleyball bag and I don't really want that even though they're really nice, really worn in and super reliable. So we're gonna get that right now, maybe some other stuff and I'll definitely show you. Oh uh, yeah totally I'd like to use that. All right, we're just pulling into the neighborhood right now after buying some clothes. We'll get a haul soon, but I pre-ordered some shorts that are nice. Got a Dickies long sleeve and a new North Face bag, like I was saying. For the back to school haul, we're just checking off some uh, needed items. You back to school for him, I already started classes. So. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Some English 101 for Fei Fei today. It's actually 101. Ooh, okay. <laughs> got a little ways to go, so I'll see. All right, so the first thing that we got on the haul was this pretty simple two-button Dickies long sleeve green shirt. It is going to replace uh, a duplicate of this that I had in green, but it's just stained all the down it from all the years of just like using it for trashy yard work projects. So that'll be good for me. The second item that I got was a new backpack, the North Face Jester. It's backwards right now, but you can tell it says Jester. It's got the elastic straps for holding anything, maybe like fins or a penny board or something. Good top zip. And of course, a very spacious internal where I can put a bunch of good stuff. The last thing that I also got 
were shorts and they had good cargo compartments in them. It's just that they were in a medium and then I'm a large. So I'm waiting for that for like another day or two is what they said. And so while I get that going and describe what's been going on with my college recently, since that's been one of the best videos performance wise on my channel, both in my college information and in my orientation videos. So just thank you so much once again for watching and viewing all those videos and giving such a positive response. If you want me to make more content like that, just leave a like and even suggest some content for me in the comment section because I'm totally down. I love making videos and it's only going to increase what with me going to my epic UCSB college journey soon. So just make sure you do that and thank you. What up? As you can see, I'm in the new Dickies shirt and I'm loving it just as I expected. However, I'd wear either just get down to business with talking to you about my dorms and my housing with all of the pros and cons and the ups and downs that came with it because it's one of the best subjects that you guys have been requesting for me to talk more about. So first off, I'd just like to say that the initial dorm selection and the criteria for filling out the survey was probably the easiest thing that I had to do besides uploading my vaccinations. I simply put my preferences in and let it be. It was stuff like smoking status, if you liked being clean, if you liked having people over, whether or not you wanted to use the room for communal space for friends or for like a studying space, it was all very important information that I hadn't really even thought about until I saw the uh, survey. And so that was all good, but the main thing that I was worried about when I was picking my housing was the bathroom style because I'm a bit of a clean freak and I definitely don't like a bunch of people and a bunch of germs coming in and contaminating my area, especially in a new place like UCSB where I wanna be as healthy as possible for all the opportunities. It just like was one of the biggest things that I was worried about. So the first thing that I did was look at all of the bathroom types, ranging from suite style, semi-private, apartment style, or communal. Now, some of these just weren't going to be on the cards for me in the first place because of the fact that I was a first year freshman and I couldn't be in the apartments and I also wanted to be in a double instead of a single. And so we're just gonna go over the ones that were applicable to me. First was the suite style, which were private bathrooms that were in residence halls that would be for four to eight students that were shared. And this was similar to the semi-private type bathroom style, which would be shared by four to five students, but were inside common hallways. Last were the communal bathrooms, which were just large bathrooms with multiple sinks and stalls, as well as a bathroom shower. And this is going to be shared by all the floor within one wing. This first narrowed down my options between the semi-private style bathrooms of San Rafael Hall or Manzanita Village because they were the only ones that had these style bathrooms and they were going to be what I would get for the least amount of people without having an actual apartment because that's A, out of my price range and B, I have to stay on campus or in one of these residence halls as a freshman. However, on one of the last trips that I went on to UCSB before I signed my SIR and actually chose to go there, which you can see on my channel, I asked the people at the front desk about the bathroom styles and they totally gave me the lowdown on exactly what the different types meant. First off, the semi-private style bathrooms I chose were for the least amount of people, but this was in fact a bit misleading since they were actually cleaned the least of any of the bathroom styles, only once a week by the staff. This led me to go back to the drawing board where my ideas should be to dorm because now I was thinking more about the communal bathrooms and I then set my sights on the main freshman dorms or the Chi-5, Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa, Anna Kappa, San Miguel, and San Nicolas. These all had communal bathrooms, which I was least inclined to go for at first because of the amount of people, which I then therefore equated to the amount of germs. However, the same people that helped me realize that the semi-private style bathrooms were not the way to go were the ones that told me that these were actually the bathrooms that got cleaned the most of any on campus, as they were cleaned every single day by staff. This made sense though, just based on the amount of people that were gonna be using them. Also, if you wanna see these communal style bathrooms, you can go to my UCSB orientation video where I show you the full rundown of both the dorms in there, which I had a double in, and the communal style bathrooms, which I took a shower in as well, so I have the full review. One of the main features that I also liked about the communal style bathrooms is that even though they had multiple stalls for using the bathroom, they also had locks on them, which was good for using stalls for showering within them. That being established, I was leaning more towards either San Miguel or San Nicolas based on their proximity to the dining commons and the lagoon and beach. Both were basically situated at the heart of campus and it'll be very easy to get from place to place in either of these halls. After this, the next part of the housing situation that I wanted to go over was creating roommate groups, which is another thing that I thought was going to be complicated, but was actually very easy to do. Once I found and connected with my roommate, the UCSB housing portal made it super easy for me to create or add someone to the roommate groups. 
Being in the same roommate group allowed for us to be able to pick the housing at the same time when we were registered, which meant that my roommate was actually able to pick their housing two days earlier than if they would have chosen their own date because I had a day where it was earlier. My roommate and I ended up doing this step about two months before we actually chose our housing, and it seemed like we are all set to get a double the day that that came. This, however, leads us to the con of actually choosing housing at UCSB and the UC system at large. The straightforwardness of making roommate groups and choosing hall residence hall preferences was out the window, as it now had secret areas for choosing residence halls, as well as a time constraint where you could only have a certain amount of time to choose. I had a nine o'clock window for choosing our housing, and so I went into it prepared. I got up early, ate breakfast, was ready 30 minutes before, and I was even FaceTiming my roommate so that we could be on the same page about it. Like, I thought that we were so ahead, and I thought that there was like nothing that could go wrong, but instead, it turned out that we got our hopes up for no reason. We thought that uh, we chose the last double in our preferred residence hall, San Nicolas. We were super stoked about this, uh, super happy, because we saw uh, the last double icon, it had two beds on the room. That's how it works, where every other room had three bed icons on it. This was the last one that had two bed icons on it. So we chose that one, got our two names in there, got off the housing portal, and really basically just virtually gave each other a high five because we thought that we did a pretty good job for two people that hadn't really done it before. That was until about two weeks later when we received an email saying that we had gotten our housing at San Nicolas. And in the email that we got uh, saying that we had our housing and that we had our roommates, it actually showed that we had a third roommate. And while I'm sure all of these guys are going to be epic and that I'm going to be friends with everyone, it kind of just threw for a loop the plan that we had because we were going into it as someone who had chosen our roommates as a double and now we had one chosen roommate and one random roommate, as well as way less space because the doubles and the triples are basically the same room, it's just one squeezes an extra person into it. So that kind of bummed us out, to be completely honest, but right now we're just keeping an open mind. Uh, both the dudes look super cool. We've already uh, DM'd the guy on Instagram, and I'm just looking forward to meeting them and just honestly getting to UCSB. But after receiving this email, I was actually lucky enough to have my roommate on campus because they're doing the summer quarter early and this allowed them to go directly to the residence hall office to figure out exactly what had happened, where we had our double icon room turn into a triple without us basically knowing it. It felt like the rug was pulled out from under us. And so basically, after a little bit of back and forth with the residence hall people, uh, my roommate told me that there was basically an icon and a filter that we had to use that said doubles only or triples only. And since we did not toggle this, it showed uh, no matter what the icon, rooms that were able to be converted into triples. And so me and him both thought that this was super unfair and something that should not happen because it literally was not explained to us in any step, way, shape, or form. We just were not happy about that, especially since both of us had been to registration at this point and they had all the time in the world over literally 48 hours to tell us. But I'm not here to bash on my college. Go Gauchos, love you guys. I'm sure the staff is epic. Like, let's just fix that. As a UC, let's fix that because there's a lot of nerds that go there. There's a lot of comp sign nerds. I'm sure you guys can design a better website. Anyways, that's the update for today. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the process, um, the realness of it, you know, the pros, the cons, the ups and the downs, because that's what happens. And while I'm still super stoked that I got housing, and that it's honestly gonna be a little less because it's triple. It's just something that didn't go to plan and I want you guys to know that for when you get in or if your plan isn't really just going to plan the way that you thought that it was, uh, we're all experiencing that in some way, shape, or form. So share the cold. Um, thank you guys for watching again. Please, please leave a like, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers before September ends. So that would be super great for you to do. And thank you so much for watching. Come back next time. That back. Was... Just be like, okay, we're back. I'm gonna do what I do because we're pulling in. Oh my, can you let me do what I need to do? Yes, literally.